Okay, so we have our influentials, we have our regulars, they're all in there. Uh, by the way, you should notice, you know, both influentials and regulars can also adopt due to the various aspects right now, right? But, we, but like we said, what we want to do is we want to change the adoption rule so that influentials only really adopt based upon other influentials and regulars adopt based upon regulars or based upon influentials advice, but that they have a weight uh, that they place on influentials versus regulars. Um, so we can add a new slider, uh, which we'll call um, influential weight, right? Um, and this is probably uh, going to be a fraction because it's a fraction of how much weight they place on influentials versus the regulars, right? Um, and so we can make it from zero to one. One meaning they only trust influentials, zero meaning they don't trust them at all. Um, we could set it out at probably close, probably a little bit, trust the influentials a little bit more than the regulars. So we can set the influential weight to like 0.7 or something like that, right? Um, so now we can go back into our code and we can start to modify the adoption rule based upon this, right? Um, so what we can do is when we go down to adopt, um, what we want is we want influentials to be handled differently than uh, what we call the regulars in our model. So um, and this is only going to affect social influence, right? Broadcast influence we're going to leave the same no matter what, but social influence is going to be handled a little differently. So one of the things we can do is we can say if your breed equals influential or equals well, let's start with the influential. That's a good one. Influentials, right? Then I want you to do one thing, and if it equals regulars, I want you to do something else instead, right? So if your breed is influential, then you're only affected by influentials. So let the neighbors adopted be the linked neighbors with adopted and um, influ uh, and breed equals influentials, right? Because you're only adopted, you're only affected by those neighbors who have adopted who are influentials. And the link in your total neighbors is only going to be those who are actually influentials. Because you don't, uh, you know, in this world of being an influential, you don't care what the, the, the regulars think, right? Um, so once we've done that, the rest of the code naturally follows, right? Because it's just going to count the total neighbors greater than zero. If it doesn't adopt, it's going to look at the social influence times the neighbors about to count total neighbors. But this is actually these new link neighbors, right? Now, if our we want to do something differently, um, if we are basing it based upon. Um, the the influentials and we are a regular based on influentials if we are a regular and it's going to be a weighted sum right of the influence of our influential neighbors and our regular neighbors so i'm just copying and pasting that code up above so here we're going to have let neighbors adopted now we're going to need two sets of neighbors adopted right we're going to need the neighbors adopted who are uh, regulars versus the neighbors who adopted who are influentials, right? Um, and so let's think about how we might want to do that. And I'm going to pause for a second. When we come back, we'll fill that in. Okay, so we're going to have the uh, neighbors adopt. Okay, so we're going to have the neighbors adopt. Uh, based upon influentials, but a weighted way when we're regular, right? So one way we could easily do this is we could count the social influence of our regular neighbors and count the social influence of our influential neighbors and then kind of take a weighted sum between the two of them, right? Uh, and so this is going to be um, the influential neighbors adopted, right? So we're going to look at what was our influential neighbors adopted, and that's the link neighbors with adopted and breed equals influential. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our regular neighbors, right? So let regular neighbors adopted and um, let the breed be regulars, right? So here we're, we're first counting 
the number of influential neighbors adopted and the total number of influential neighbors and then the regular neighbors adopted and the total number of regular neighbors, right? Um, and then rather than um, right away kind of going into this, if the random float is less than this and doing all these comparisons, right? What we could do is we can start to kind of simplify this calculation a little bit. So we can say, let, um, so first of all, we want to check to make sure we have, uh, we're not dividing by zero at all, right? So if influence, our influential total neighbors if the count of the influential total numbers is greater than zero um, then we're going to let um, uh, influential social or influential influence uh, be influential neighbors adopted divided by influential total neighbors, right? And then we're gonna do the same for the regular neighbors. Let regular influence be reg neighbors adopted divided by total, right? Okay. And now all we gotta do is we gotta just add all that up. And so let neighbor influence the um, influential influence times influential weight plus regular influence times regular weight um, and regular weight isn't defined uh, but we can define it quickly as being let regular weight be one minus influential weight. Right. Double check to make sure. Oh, so we basically already have a small mistake, right? We wanted this to be if breed equals influence. We just want to make it um, a, a, a parentheses, not a block. Um, Nothing they, oh, and I misspelled total neighbors, so we can do that real quick. Fix these kind of typos. Uh, nothing named influential influence. So, oh, that's right. So now we'll go to something a little bit unusual when you define a, a variable inside of one of these. It's actually the let is just scoped to that particular area. So we're going to instead make these sets. Um, and then we're going to define the variable using let outside of that. So we'll say let influential influence be zero, let regular influence be zero, right? Um, and so this is actually very useful actually now because it means that we'll always have a value for influential influence and regular influence. Okay, so now after all of that, we now have a weighted neighborhood influence in which we take the influential influence multiply times the influential weight plus the regular influence times the regular weight, right? Um, and at this point, um, we actually have already checked to see if the total neighbors is greater than zero and all this, and if it's not, it's just gonna be set to zero for that particular weight, right? Um, so we can now at this point just get rid of this command, this, this kind of check, on the number of neighbors and we can go right to checking to say okay now if they have not adopted and the random float is less than and now it's going to be social influence times neighbor influence then set it up to the true otherwise set color to pink so uh, you know let me quickly recap that, right? So basically what we did was we just counted the number of influential neighbors, the number, the total number of influential neighbors who adopted, number of regular neighbors, number of regular neighbors who adopted. Uh, we then created new variables to measure their influence and we set that influence to the number who adopted divided by within that breed, right? Um, first of all, checking to make sure that they were greater than zero, so we didn't get a greater than division by zero error. 
We then use that as a new kind of weighted fraction of adoption, right? Uh, which becomes this neighbor influence, which is equal to the influential influence times the influential weight plus the regular influence times the regular weight, where regular weight is just one minus the influential weight, right? Okay, so based upon all that, we now have uh, influentials and regulars who adopt in two different ways. We can't set up, we can't go. Ah, and of course, as we might expect, we get a small error. So what is this? So it says, divide expected input to be uh, to be a number, but got an agent set instead. Right? Oh, so this is because we actually have defined influence total neighbors as a agent set and not as a number. So we can quickly change all these to counts instead of the agent sets. Now we can set up, we go, and it works. Right? Um, now, of course, to really make sure this model should be working, uh, we should spend some time actually writing some debugging code to make sure that the calculation for this individual is, is different than this one and so forth. Um, uh, I don't, you know, given the length that this talk has already gone on, I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you guys. Uh, but uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to verification and validation of the models.